Hi everybody. I'm here to show you how to turn this into this. Stay tuned guys. So as many of you know, hopefully, from watching some of my other YouTube videos, I received a Astro Boy dress in the mail and I'm wearing it currently. What I really wanted to do, and I've wanted to do this for a long, long time, is to turn this purse into an Astro Boy purse. I'm gonna show you guys some really cool hologram Astro Boy embellishments that I bought in Toronto quite a while ago. I just wanted to show you quickly how I basically turn this Arts Cow purse that's completely black and blank that I I just printed the black on here and that's all I wanted to do. And how I'm going to embellish it with metallic and hologram sort of effects. So stay tuned if you wanna check that out and watch that quick DIY. The things you'll need for this DIY are obviously embellishments and in my case I got this really cool Astro Boy hologram embellishment and I think I'm going to pick this one. You should also need some sort of fabric glue. I'm choosing this okay to wash fabric glue just in case something happens to it and it gets some sort of water on it. This is also optional if you guys want to do this, but I'm picking this fabric block printing ink. You can use all sorts of different types of fabric inks, but this is something that I kind of preferred. Okay, so this can cure for about a week or so, and then you can use it and it can be washed. So that's really cool. So this is a fabric block printing ink. I'm just going to paint it on. Sometimes you can use that for actual block printing or that sort of thing. This is also optional, but if you feel like getting messy, you can sort of, basically what I want to do is make stars with this silver ink, right? So if you wanted to, you can sort of do that flicking effect with a toothbrush and get some really cool star effects that way. I'm personally not into making things this messy, so I got some extremely fine brushes. So hopefully that will really work nicely and what I want to do right now is to pick which design will work best and I think that quite honestly I love this design but I might actually make a really cool purse out of this at some point I'm, I'm probably gonna use some sort of glow-in-the-dark fabric paint for this one so I'm gonna to have to get something printed for this so I'm actually thinking of this guy and he'll probably go right here because this is actually where the person Bends. So I'm going to try to put it kind of as close to the ends as possible here, but I'm going to probably make some stars all over this purse and let it set for quite a while. So I just want to make sure that that's the best move to kind of make this close to the bottom. So this is an Arts Cow purse. I use this pretty much every single day and I really love the fact that I can actually change this purse flap out and as you can see there's kind of like domes happening on here. So there's like three domes here or closures, whatever you want to call them, clasps. And they're quite strong so it makes it easy to put a new flap on. This is the larger one that I decided to get. There's a small, medium, and large, I believe. I'll put the links down below in case you guys want to get these for yourself. So I just basically printed this in black. And so I just sort of want to see the placement of this just to make sure that kind of having it close to the bottom is the best move. And it looks like it might be fine. I really like this hologram kind of effect. It shows Astro Boy his insides, which is really kind of cool, really neat to me. So these ones, this one's really neat too. It's the same sort of thing, just different pose. But I think that these are really going to be fun for my outfit that I'm wearing. But yeah, I think I'm just going to keep him kind of close to the bottom. Looks like he's flying almost. Maybe a little bit closer to the top up here. If you're really unsure of the placement of something, you can always take a little bit of chalk and do a little bit of an outline. It could be just in a few spots so you can easily brush it away if you need to basically just while you're placing it and then you can do stars and whatever the heck you want around it 
and I think this is going to be really cute and really fun. I'm just going to have it a little bit away from the bottom and that should be really cool. That should look really nice. Okay guys, so the process of this is going to be quite simple. I'm going to be using this Speedball fabric block printing ink. I might wet it just slightly. All I'm just going to do is just add dots everywhere of different sizes and all over it so it's going to be very straightforward DIY doesn't matter the size, it could be small, large, whatever as long as they're sort of scattered and again, you can get like a very cool effect, like similar to this with a toothbrush. Maybe it might be a little bit more sporadic, which is not really what I was looking for. I didn't want anything too crazy. But basically, I'm just trying to make this look like stars. Not too polka dotty. And then just have a little, few little ones here and there. And just keep going like that. So be sure to make the stars as random as possible. You can put some larger ones here and there and maybe a shooting star just for variation just to make it look a little more real but yeah this this silver kind of adds a nice metallic touch and it's pretty straightforward and simple to do this kind of thing it's pretty fun too if you like sort of doing pinpoint kind of work or just if you like to dab paint brushes on things like this this might be kind of like a fun thing for you to do Yeah, you know, make like a little galaxy purse. I would just say print up something from Arts Cow, make it kind of either black or maybe like a nice sort of different galaxy colors if you wanted to go that route. Astro Boy I think had you know, some color variation in some of the scenes where he was in outer space, but I just wanted to use a straight black purse. Yeah, it's pretty pretty straightforward and easy and just fun to do. Okay, so you can sort of see what I've done here. I added a few things like shooting stars here. So I just wanted to show you guys the cool metallic effect. I mean this fabric is quite shiny anyway, so the metallic may not show up as much. I don't know, maybe it was kind of pointless to do that sort of thing, but it was fun anyways nonetheless. And so that's the purse flap all covered like this. So I'm going to glue on the Astro Boy thing with OK to Wash. So as cool as this guy is, I'm going to put him aside and use this one instead. I'm probably going to place him right around here. I'm going to put a generous amount of this okay to wash on there but you don't want to put it right no next to the edge because it's going to seep out a lot. Try to sort of, if you can, you can get a brush too if you want to spread it out that way but put like enough on just so that it, most of it will stick down. And you can put a like puffy amount near the edge because it will just squish down you know kind of line it like that hopefully this doesn't backfire on me and then if you need to you can always go underneath it and just tuck some glue under there as well but yeah i'm just gonna put a generous amount down I'm not too generous i don't want to i don't want to mess So, place this guy. Maybe I'll show you guys this way. Okay. 
And then we'll squeegee it down. Try not to get glue on your fingers to get it on the embellishment if you can. Oh, see, some of it's seeping out a bit. That's okay. It's probably going to dry clear anyways. It's not a huge, huge deal. But you can always clean that up with like a paper towel or something along those lines. Oh, same thing with this guy. It's seeping out a bit. And you can always put, once you clean up the seepage, you can always place a book on top. But try to, if you can, get all this glue out of there so that you don't accidentally glue your book to this piece. I might just leave it just to cure on its own. So I'm just going to clean up the seepage here. Again, it's going to dry fairly clear, but you don't want a big mess here like that. This doesn't look that great. I'm gonna get some water to just sort of clean that up while it's still wet. Just press that down. And try not to get the stars. Especially if they're still curing, like mine are. I was doing this too quickly, so I didn't let it cure for very long. Anyways, hopefully that won't show up too much after it's all cured. But I'm just going to leave it to cure overnight. And yeah, hopefully that'll look really cool in the end. And then I can show you how the purse looks the outcome of that. So I hope you guys really like that tutorial. This is the finished purse and it sort of changes sort of from robotic to regular Astro Boy and I think it's so freaking cool. It goes so well with this awesome dress and yeah it's pretty it's pretty neat. So anything that's anime or manga related, that sort of stuff. Goes with this necklace too. So much Astro Boy. I'm so on theme today. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm not gonna have it too close to my body right now, mainly because the ink is still a little bit wet. I'm pretty sure this guy's glued on. It looks really cute on this purse, I think. I think it, the placement works pretty well. I really, really like it. I think it's pretty cool. Hopefully it can, you can see the changes. I think it's so neat. It's such a neat thing. I love having this hologram going on, but because this is not easy to, to just make on your own. So the fact that I found this was really cool. But yeah, so anyways, yeah, this uh, ink is actually an oil-based ink, just so you guys are well aware in case you wanted to do something like this in the future. I do highly, highly, highly recommend getting some sort of opaque either ink or fabric paint. Maybe if you want to, get like a marker version or something like that so you don't have to iron set things. Try to like make sure that it's not iron set if it's like a specific kind of fabric. This fabric, I wasn't sure if the iron was gonna melt it and I definitely wasn't going to iron over something like this, right? So that's why I kind of chose to go with the route of using fabric glue to glue him down. It's a pretty simple DIY to embellish just a regular black purse and I don't know, I just thought it was really a lot of fun. I mean, you can do this with anything, really. I want to say anything, but like, if you have like a regular black purse, it doesn't have to be this particular purse, but if you really like this kind of purse, it's a great everyday purse. Again, you can change it, the flaps really easily. Right on the back, there's like a, like three domes that are really strong. So if you ever just want to change that out, you can. And then you can change things out with your outfits, which is awesome. So it's going to be cheaper than buying a whole purse and also moving all of your contents out of your purse, which is really cool. So yeah. Anyways, I really, really like how this turned out though. I do highly recommend because this is oil based, because this says to set for about a week or so. I'm not doing that right now. It is still wet because I'm wearing this maybe the day after I made it. So I gave it a night and a little bit during the day and it's still a little bit tacky so I do recommend the drying time for it's like about a, a week it says so anyways I hope you guys really love this video and 
If you can, please give me a like. Comment in the description down below if you really like this video. Also, if you could share the video, that would be fantastic. I would really, really appreciate that, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy that and have an awesome day. Bye!